all right hello hello welcome to heal and ascend to row so i hope everyone is doing well today is going to be your pick a card reading so we have three crystals here we have pile number one two and three so take a moment to see which one is calling you which one is resonating um so this is the fool's gold also known as pyrite we've got uh polka dot agate and we also have opalite 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 yes opalite okay so we're going to start off with the fool's gold i'm just going to move these over so i'm going to shuffle as we go we'll start off with their messages so let's see this person on your mind how are they feeling about you at this time this person on your mind how do they feel about you at this time let's take a look and see we have are you thinking about me okay so this person wants to know am i on your mind are you thinking about me as much as i'm thinking about you so definitely you're on this person's mind they want to know if you are as well you are on theirs we also have you're the yeah definitely look at this you're the first thing on my mind when i wake up that's what I'm literally just saying you're on this person's mind all the time definitely when they first wake up in the morning um so yeah i just get a sense that this person is thinking about you so much and they're just wondering like oh my gosh are they thinking about me as much as i'm thinking about them is that possible wow we have a lot about like waking up we have i want to wake up next to you so you're the first thing on my mind when i wake up and then we have i want to wake up next to you okay so definitely this is like a like this is someone who likes to fantasize a lot is what i'm feeling like they like to visualize what it would be like to be with you um or progress things so for some of you you may not be with this person others of you may be but i just feel like with this saying like i, I want to wake up next to you i feel like you're either not or maybe you guys haven't like become intimate with one another sorry if you can hear a dog in the background okay so let's see how does this person feel how does this person feel oh my gosh see the four of wands this person is a dreamer they're visualizing they're fantasizing about a commitment with you they're thinking about marriage. They're just thinking about like how nice it would be to have you as a partner. And they're really thinking about just like the the very mundane daily things like waking up, cooking breakfast. Like they're thinking about that, going for a drive, like simple things. Um, I feel like this person would be very happy with just doing little things with you. They don't need to do extravagant things. Yeah, they think about you all the time. The Six of Swords Reverse is my card of can't get someone off my mind. So definitely this person is thinking about you non-stop if you're looking for an overall theme for pal one it's literally that this person thinks about you 24 7. okay yeah they want to move things forward this could be a cancer for some of you guys we got chariot energy here so this person wants to progress things forward like i don't they don't they don't want to have anything get in the way of this connection like what i'm getting is that they don't want any delays like they just want to push through they want to if there's any obstacles that come up they're like i don't care we're going to get through these obstacles because i see this future i see what i want they're very clear on it this to me feels like someone who like when they know what they want they're very set on it and they're like i'm going to get it like at all costs i'm going to get this um so i think really what's on what they're feeling right now is like they kind of want to they kind of want to know are you at the same place that they are like are you thinking about them in that same way like are you wanting kind of the same thing um is sort of where their head is at okay seven of pentacles in reverse oh there's another card here as well in the higher font in reverse yeah i think that this person is kind of worried that maybe you're not on the same timeline as them if that makes sense like because this person is already thinking about commitment and i don't know like how early or how like like when the timing is of this connection but i think they're concerned like are we going to be on the same timeline like are you going to want a commitment when i want a commit commitment are you going to want marriage when i want marriage um so there's a bit of worry there there's a little bit of fear um one thing i'm going to say is if this person is not fully investing in you that could be why because they want to make sure that you're on the same page before they kind of reveal where their head is at. They don't want to be embarrassed. Okay. And then we got the Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah. So for some of you, which is interesting, if you get kind of hot and cold from this person, I think it's because they're a little bit afraid to reveal where their head is already at with you because they want sort of some sort of confirmation that you're on the same page before they reveal 
how much they think about you or how far along they've thought in terms of this connection. Cause it's like, they don't want to say to you like, oh yeah, I've envisioned like, you know, marrying you. If you're just like, okay, well let's just get to the second date. You know what I mean? Like, so they want to make sure that you're on the same page. So for some of you guys, this person may be coming across a little bit like hot and cold. It's not because they don't have interest. It's because maybe sometimes they worry that you're not where they're at and they don't want to end up embarrassed. Okay. So pile one, that is what I have for you. So I hope this resonated. If you guys want to book something personal, my information is down below in the description box. Okay. Let's move on to pile number two. Okay. So we're going to start off with the messages and I'm just going to grab this crystal. Okay. So if you guys chose this crystal here, how does this person feel about you? Starting off with messages. All I can think about is that night. So there's some sort of night that you guys spent together or some day, like there was some significant time that you guys spent together. You'll know what this is. It's like that very special night that you guys had. They're thinking about this a lot, okay? We have cheater, mm, okay, we'll see what that is about. Hopefully, I don't know if they're calling you a cheater or maybe they've cheated on you. Let's see what's going on here. And we have, oh, I'm unstable. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, for some of you, I'm kind of feeling like with the un I'm unstable card, it makes me feel like maybe this person has cheated on you in the past, or maybe they've thought about cheating, or they actually are cheating right now. Hopefully not, but with the fact that they're unstable makes me feel like this person is not emotionally like mature. So let's see what's going on. They could also be going through something as well. For some of you also too, what I'm hearing is like, you and this person cheated like with each other like on someone else so if you were already with someone you guys were like cheating together or they might have been with someone and you were kind of like the other person let's see how does this person feel about you we got the hermit they could be a virgo or you could be we have the ace of cups in reverse how does this person feel about you oh gosh okay and the bottom of the deck is the eight of swords Huh. Okay, what I'm kind of feeling now, you guys can click off because I'm gonna get, I wanna give a very specific message in terms of like what I'm seeing versus like too broad. So the main message that I'm feeling is like, you found out that this person like cheated on you or you found out that this person had someone else and you might've left this person or things ended because of that. And I feel like there was something, like you guys, between the two of you, there was a time when things were really good. And there might have been some night specifically that was like really significant for the two of you. Um, and I feel like right now, because you guys are not together, this person is in a really bad place. I think they already were emotionally, but they're definitely in a really bad place. Like they're going through it. They feel very alone. I feel like they're in a very negative headspace. For some of them, they're actually like isolating themselves right now and they feel that they're disconnected from their heart with the Ace of Cups in reverse. They're going through it emotionally. And I think this person is kind of getting their karma. Like whatever they did to you, I do feel like it's like they're starting to feel the consequences of their actions. Like they might've done things in the past where they thought they could get away with it, but they're realizing, okay, I can't, I can't do this because now I'm feeling like I'm alone. For some of you guys, I'm getting a specific message that if they cheated on you with someone, that other person also left them. So now they're like very much alone. Yeah, they want to change. Wow, this is actually, Seven of Swords Reverse is like changing your ways. Like maybe once in the past you were a liar. Now you want to, you want to actually be honest. Maybe you were a cheater. Now you want to be loyal. I'm definitely seeing that whatever happened or whatever transpired between the two of you is actually a catalyst for this person to change and this person to mature. So whatever bad behavior they had, they're thinking about changing this. Now I'm not saying like go run after this person and like, you know, but I definitely see that they are mentally thinking about how they need to change as a person because they're not in a good place yeah see they're having regret like the five of cups right the justice card in reverse at the bottom of the deck so they know that they did you wrong they know that they've been treating people unfairly they're recognizing like the error of their ways and they're feeling regret for what they did to you 
But again, there's some night, there was some night that the two of you had together that is like very significant for this person. And for some reason, it keeps like playing over and over and over again in their mind. So if you guys also keep thinking about like one like special day or one special night, I feel like that's because this person is thinking about this a lot as well. But definitely, for those of you who are wondering like, are they going to get their karma for what they did to you? Yes, they are. And not even that, it's like, or more than that, it's like this person is actually realizing that they need to change at the same time. Okay, so that is what I have for pile number two. So I hope this resonated. So let's move on to pile number three. Okay, so if you guys chose the opalite, let's find out what are your person's messages for you. What are your person's messages for you? We have please don't ignore me. We have romantic feelings. Okay, and we have is it too late? Oh, okay, this is very clear message. So this is for those of you who are in a no contact situation with someone, you're separated with someone, you haven't been speaking to them. And they do have feelings for you. So maybe you guys were not sure. This person definitely has romantic feelings for you. And I think that potentially, maybe this person didn't realize this, like maybe they weren't in tune with these feelings. This could be someone who's kind of cut off from their heart space. Maybe they've disconnected from their like feminine side, but it's like, I'm getting someone who like just woke up to the fact that they're like, oh my God. Like, you know, like in movies where it's like someone's walking down the street and then they just have this like aha, like, oh my God, I love her. Or, oh my God, I love him. Like this epiphany, like sort of like, it's like the love was always there, but they just weren't aware of it. And so I feel like this person has awakened to this love that they have for you. And, but you guys are in no contact right now. So they're thinking like, oh my God, now that I know, like I do have feelings for you, like, is it too late? Please don't ignore me. Like if I contact you, please don't ignore me. So that's how they're feeling. So I feel like this person is really thinking about expressing to you that they do have these feelings. Maybe they were keeping them in before. Yeah, this person wants to reach out to you with the six of pentacles. They want to give to this situation, but they're like, is it too late? Yeah, the 10 of cups in reverse. I feel like this person is so worried that they missed out on like they're happily ever after with you. They're really concerned about this. They're going back and forth in their mind, like, what should I do? Because they do want to take action towards you. We do have the Knight of Wands, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So I feel like also too, what I'm getting is that this person was very back and forth with you potentially in the past. And they're so worried that they're going to miss or did miss their happily ever after. I do think that this person will take action towards you because they're like, I can't, I have to, I have to tell him or her how I feel the concern is like is it too late like did I take too long to tell this person how I feel that's what they're worried about yeah see they want to make you an offer ace of pentacles they want to make you an offer they want to reach out I think for a lot of you guys I'm getting strongly you expect something from this person especially even if you haven't heard from this person in a long time it doesn't matter how long it's been you're gonna hear from this person that's the main thing that I'm getting you're gonna hear from this person yeah they're coming back look at that eight of cups reverse this person is coming back to you so definitely this is someone who walked away from you in the past who has now Jackson sorry my dog is going crazy in the background this is someone who walked away from you in the past who is kicking themselves because they weren't aware and I don't know let's see what was blocking them from realizing their feelings in the past like why did they not the fool it could be that they had trust issues for some of you guys like they might have had trust issues like they might have had um like just from the past which didn't allow them to like connect to their heart you know like this could have been someone who suppressed their emotions because they just didn't trust love so what i'm getting is that they've had some sort of like aha i don't know what caused it but they had some aha moment and they're like oh my god i do actually have feelings for this person what am i doing like i need to come back to you eight of cups reverse but they're so worried that like it's too late and that by the time they come back you're going to actually ignore their message or you're not going to want to take their offer um and so this person is really concerned about i do think that they're going back and forth about whether or not they should even try to do this but i do think that they're leaning more on like no i need to do this because i need to find out but they will be devastated if you're no longer interested or if you don't want this offer at this point they will be devastated yeah five of wands they want to fight for this okay let's get one more message from this person just because 
I keep saying your name everywhere. Yeah, so I feel like this person can't stop. Like this person keeps getting reminded of you, right? Because it's like these feelings are there. They can't deny these feelings. I think in the past, this person tried to avoid them, right? Like, again, they tried to push away that feminine side. They tried to suppress that emotional side. And it's like, it's bubbling up and they can't. Like they just have these feelings and they need to let them out. Like I'm getting like, a volcano erupting so some of you guys are going to be very shocked that this person even has something to say to you because it's like they definitely have a lot there's a lot of feelings that have been building up that they're now just like consciously aware of okay so that's how this person feels so i hope this resonated for you guys if it did definitely leave a comment if you guys want to book something personal my information is down below in the description box all right but i'm sending you absolute love and light and i wish you all of the best on your journeys take care